Under, under the law, under the Orphan Drug Act, when a product is approved, uh, FDA grants a period of seven-year orphan drug exclusivity. And that exclusivity prevents FDA from approving the same drug, the same molecule, uh, for seven years unless another product comes along that's different. And a product can be different if it's what's referred to as clinically superior. And uh, if it is shown to be clinically superior, it would break that other sponsor's orphan exclusivity. And uh, there are three ways to, to show this superiority. Uh, one is if you show greater efficacy, one is if you show greater safety, and another one is, is if your product provides uh, what's referred to as a pick or major contribution to patient care. And over the past couple of years, there's been uh, litigation. Uh, it's accelerated in recent, well, over the recent year, or last year or so. Uh, essentially, companies have challenged FDA's regulations, and one company won, such that in order to get this period of exclusivity, you don't actually have to demonstrate clear clinical superiority. It's merely enough that you've been designated as an orphan drug. And uh, so FDA's, which is contrary to what FDA has put out in its regulations, which have been there for, for, for quite some time. So this company uh, won a lawsuit against FDA. FDA kind of put it, put it to the side and said, well, this really only applies really to this one company. And uh, subsequently, another company challenged FDA on the same grounds for a different drug. And finally, a third company just this past August, uh, which we represent, United Therapeutics, uh, filed a, a lawsuit against FDA on the same principle here with uh, with respect to their product called Triprostinol. Now, meanwhile, Congress had been uh, debating and, and making changes to uh, a bill called FDARA, which is the FDA Reauthorization Act. And one aspect that got included in FDARA uh, is, is really to put into the statute this concept of clinical superiority, which exists in FDA's regulations now. So now the statute, not just the regulations, says that if you want to get your, your own period of orphan exclusivity and break another sponsor's exclusivity or, or again, just even get your own period, you have to demonstrate clinical superiority uh, to get that exclusivity. So now the debate is there's a provision included in the law that uh, could be read to essentially say this is prospective in nature and that any determinations that FDA had made prior to August of 2017 when FDARA was enacted, uh, that those, those, those decisions are grandfathered in under the, uh, the pre-statutory change uh, version of the law.